All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Back to another video, and it's been a while actually since I've uh, since my last upload. Um, uh, I guess the main contributor for that is uh, I've been just kind of running out of video ideas. Uh, to be honest, you know, uh, most fans. <clears throat> excuse me guys uh but adv most advanced warfare channels really at this point are either doing like live um you know live gameplays or ju they're just like um talking about like every little thing in the game like all the attachments and stuff and i didn't really want to do either of those so uh what i've been really doing in the last couple days is mainly just uh, been playing the game itself and uh spending uh time doing other stuff outside of youtube but anyways uh, one thing that i have been doing is uh the advanced warfare campaign which is what you guys are hopefully watching right now um I was going to do a, a let's play on this, but unfortunately, um, for whatever reason, I think it was because of the cutscenes, um, like, uh, I got a copyright, uh, like it wouldn't let me upload it and it's really dumb. Uh, but anyways, um, I have finished the advanced warfare campaign though. I, for, uh, it's about probably like, um, 10 hours, maybe, maybe, maybe a little faster. I, I don't really remember. I'll have to check my uh, steam record, but anyways, um, first, or at least I guess like uh, compared to the other Call of Duty campaigns, um, it was actually really good. At least like um, especially in the story-driven part of it. Hold on, guys, I gotta fix this. All right, sorry guys. All right, think we. Sh all right, all right, think we're good. But anyways, um, one big thing of the Advanced Warfare campaign that I feel like um was really lacking in a lot of the other uh, campaigns is the story. So. Um, obviously if you have, you know, um, if you have like, you're big into like television and stuff, you will know who Kevin Spacey is, which is the antagonist, um, in the campaign. Like I said, I won't spoil anything like in the story or anything, but you know, um, I feel like one big thing that they tried to do in the campaign and something I really noticed right off the bat is that they made it seem more, feel more like a movie than anything else. And that's not, I, I that's not necessarily a bad thing, you know, um, obviously there's still a lot of uh, great gameplay in it. Um, outside the multiplayer, it's a great change of pace, you know, because uh, most people, you know, tend to just play the multiplayer, or not most people, you know, just like on the YouTube side of things, and like, you know, and multiplayer is fun, you know, but I feel like a lot of people, um, I guess, underestimate the camp campaign or um, just uh, really underrate it, ju just because it's a Call of Duty game and like the multiplayer is like the main thing. But anyways, um, you know, um, I, I really wasn't expecting too much out of this Advanced Warfare campaign, but I really, I did like the story and how it ties in with the multiplayer with the DNA bomb. Like I said, if you've played the campaign, then you'll know what I'm talking about, but if not, then, you know, like I said, I won't spoil anything, but, um, uh, what else? I mean, I guess there's not too much stuff to talk about in the campaign. Um, uh, it, it does go back to that normal format of, you know, um, cut scene, 20 minutes of gameplay, mission complete you know, cutscene, 20 minutes of gameplay, so, which I actually kind of liked, and, um, and, uh, yeah, I feel like you got really attached to the characters, especially, um, and I don't know, I thought, th I had a fun time playing it, you know, it was a nice change of pace from multiplayer, um, but I still am enjoying the multiplayer, it's just nice to, uh, play the campaign every once in a while, you know, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it, but, um, I guess for my final thoughts, you know, if you are looking to buy this game or, you know, chances are if you're watching this video, you've already bought the game or you're, you know, you're just like, you haven't played the campaign yet and you want to see what it's about or anything like that. But, you know, if you are looking to buy this game just for the campaign, I, you know, I don't really know if $60 would be worth it. Maybe like, I'd probably say it's like a $40 worth the campaign, but, um, but I don't know. It, it was really enjoyable. A lot better than the other ones, especially. Um, I thought the Black Ops 2 campaign was really good. Uh, Ghost one was actually was pretty good as well, but not as good as Advanced Warfare, I'd say. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry I have been kind of lazy lately with all the uploads, but I hope you guys uh, will be all right with that. And uh, I'll try to get some more videos out, um, you know, back to my every other day schedule. So I hope, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.